when I was a kid, I would ask my dad why he didn't go to church, and he would say that nature is his church. And as I got older, I started to understand what he meant by that, and eventually I agreed. There's a holy simplicity in the wild way the forest grows, and a divine wisdom that ebbs and flows through the ocean, a wisdom 4.5 billion years old. There's also an undeniable truth and understanding in nature, which is you live and then you die. And there's nothing more to it. It's not good or bad. It's just the way things are. And that is so beautifully reverent. It was in 2015 that I first heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch a plastic death trap stretching from Japan to off the coast of California. According to one article, one million sea creatures a year die because of it. And that got me thinking, what are we doing about this? Is this my fault? Who's gonna save us? Da -da -da. Enter Mary Crowley, a Chicago-born sea captain, businesswoman, and co-founder of the Ocean Cleanup Coalition known as Project Kaisei. This woman is a hero, and we got the chance to talk to her. Plastic is such a light material that it blows very easily and gets washed into the ocean. Over time, it ends up becoming smaller. So these small pieces of plastic can be ingested by fish, and it means that toxic plastics are doing harm to ocean creatures and getting into our food chain. Whales and big fish and little fish and seabirds all expect that things floating in the ocean are food for them, and unknowingly, mother birds feed it to their babies. So they're feeding their babies this food that kills them. We decided to challenge our friends around the world and see what kind of trash they could find. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Skyler. Bonjour, mon nom est Freddy. I'm Nami. Hi, I'm Tony. My name is Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Robin. I live in Los Angeles. I live in Brooklyn, New York. In Los Angeles. New York City. Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, I live in Los Angeles. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Kansas City, Missouri. And this is the trash that I found. Hey, ceci le poubelle, j'ai vos couilles. Fa. Black plastic bag. Just a quote. Coffee. Use cup of coffee. Cigarette carton. Cigarette packs. Whole lot of cigarette butts. More empty cigarettes. Fish and usual. Say a Christmas decoration. Spiky thing that I think is used to keep pigeons away. That's trash. Uh, which is pretty wet and disgusting. Oh, it's gross. Lama's it's on here. It's like what I never tell him about. Why don't you just go to the trash can and put your garbage there? You gotta clean it up. So get out there, find some trash, love the earth, have a good day. These are the most common single-use plastics. Water bottles, Ziploc bags, cutlery, and grocery bags. These can all simply be replaced with this, 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 and this. This bamboo cutlery set comes with its own pair of chopsticks, and its case is made from a recycled water bottle. These reusable bags are perfect for sandwiches, snacks, or fruits. Here's a reusable bag made out of recycled water bottles. We discovered that within the four mile stretch of what is Venice Beach, about six to eight tons of trash are picked up every single day. How many beaches across the world are filled with trash just itching to slither its way back into the ocean and join its plastic friends in the garbage patch? Thousands and thousands of miles of shoreline with hundreds of thousands of tons of trash. Think about that. Mary Crowley and the others like her are doing their part, but so should we. All of us, unfortunately, contribute to the issue of plastic in our ocean. The good news is that means that all of us can be part of the solution.